Yeah, he rocks. He's he's good. That's good shit. Here we are in Finland. Beautiful. Finland. Oh yeah, I I hear the rain. I'm trying to be cool. I can't be cool. I'm trying to... Look, man. <laughs> trying not to run the power bill up. I keep all the lights off now. <laughs> They'll come and turn the lights off, dude, and I can't work. So here we are. All ready to open the hood and get the engine wet. <laughs> no, we're kind of tired, I guess. So, uh, might eat and take a piss and all that stuff, and then see how, how we feel. I'm running out of sausages in there. I'm afraid to eat. This is not good. I could be making bread, but instead we're. They can kill you? you Got to listen for those bubbles. I don't hear the bubbles. I think it's done cooking. So we're going to have to go to the store, pick up some juice. 
what's happening here in the load radio hour chat. Oh, hey, Dark Mage. How the hell are you? You being sweet or no? Or you being ugly? I understand you're being ugly. Is that true? So this is... Uh, oh, did it bubble? No, I don't think it did. But I, I don't have the fucking juice containers. So that's, that's what I'll have to do. I'll have to drive to town and get the fucking juice containers. Gotta buy the juice, you know, drink it all. Whatever. Okay. And while I'm there, I'll get some sausages too. Yeah, I was about to starve to death. That's, that's what was happening. But we finally got money, we got the lights turned on, we got, you know, we got all that shit. We got all that fucking shit. Yeah, Jihad stuff is, uh, is pretty good. This is my summer car, and um, this is my summer piss. Coming out of my cack. Oh, we're a little stressed. So you gotta... Smoking. Just walking around the house with a cigarette. <laughs> how I like to receive stress. You'll look out at the world. Yeah. And just think about how you live in Finland. And fucking uh, can't believe... Kurt Cobain killed himself, you know? This is this one's for you, Kurt. We'll, we'll see if we can make some coffee too, I guess, so we can stay up all night and fucking drive to town. I don't know if I can make it in time. He might close his business. Let me see. What time is it in here? That's only one. Alright. <laughs> so that would be ridiculous to go to sleep. Like right now. We'll just, you know what, we'll, we'll make a cup of coffee and we'll take it with us. Okay. If I have coffee. Coffee! Making coffee! There it goes. Making that fucking coffee. Oops! No, we don't need that much. I probably made it. I'm making way too much coffee. That's the problem here. <laughs> so this is the the music that plays in my head when I'm making coffee in the morning. Okay. Okay. Now we got that. We got that going. While the coffee's going, there's a glare on my screen. I've got to go take care of that. There is a Discord button. Yeah, anything would fit this. We could. Oh shit! I didn't turn the light on. Is the coffee done? Oh, we didn't put the fucking lid on it.
Just a, a droning mechanical sound plays as you wait for your coffee to brew. The coffee, like the tension in the room, was heating up. Hurry up, man. We gotta go to town, baby. <laughs> I lost the diesel can. Uh, so I can't fill up the, up the tractor. I can't fill anything up. I'm gonna have to, like, edit the diesel can back to me because I, I have no idea what happened to it. I only have the, uh, the regular gasoline can, which is what this takes, I believe. Maybe it takes diesel. I don't fucking know. I think it does take diesel, actually. So we'll have to fill that up when we get to town. And this, uh, this, we'll take this, just in case I fucking, uh, break down, right? Okay. That coffee is done. That's, uh, that's enough, you know? That's enough. I can't do this. Okay. All right. Off we go. Fucking raining. Pumping the gas. There it goes. It keeps welcoming all hate sec to the chat room. I wonder why that's happening. What does that even mean? Uh, say something in the in the chat so we can. Uh... I mean, this is dumb. I don't know why it's doing that. We just checked the mail. We can go on. It can be a little treacherous when it's raining like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the chat just because, uh,. You know, I think they're, like, prejudiced against me because I'm a good old boy. And they don't want me to talk to my fellow, um... Oh, shit! My fellow good old boys. It's... it's... it boggles the mind. I mean, they'll stop at nothing to keep us from organizing, communicating. Fucking trying to take take us over, co-opt our movement. Am I wearing my seatbelt? Well, oh, we are hauling ass in this van. <laughs> We're gonna get there on time. That's for damn sure. Remember when everybody acted like uh, like? That anarchist cookbook was such a big deal. Like, oh, it's got a recipe for a Molotov cocktail in there. Like, isn't that just a rag in a bottle? It's got a fertilizer bomb. 
Like, okay. Like, who was really pretending that that was a big deal? Like, the police? That's nothing. Wait a minute, am I going the right way? Fuck. Uh... I like to consult the map. Time to time, a map will help you out, you know? Uh oh, I hear techno music. Oh no, that's Jihad's music! That's just. That's just fun party music. Okay. I go left. This one's called Before There's No Time? Schizophrenic Cybernetic. You can find them on twitch.tv slash fucksnet. Twitch.tv slash fucksnet. Am I coming through okay? Am I pretty clear? Am I above the den? Do I need to come up? Or does the den need to come down? You guys gotta take a right up here. Yeah, everything's balanced all right. Because I'm a goddamn broadcasting professional. I <laughs> went to the Commonwealth School of Broadcasting. I'll come at you from the underground. Now I take a right here. And that'll put us on the highway. Oh yeah, now we're good. Is the sensitivity too high? Does it seem like I'm looking at fucking everything? Whoa, whoa, whoa that guy was getting in my lane. This is living right here. This is fucking living. God of thunder. I'm doing 120. <laughs> Lean out the window. Yeah, fuck you. Whoa. Wow. That was a slide, dude. I am hauling ass in this van. Oh, it's wobbling. It's wobbling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chill out. Is that town? This is what's on the radio. Getting those speed wobbles, you get just off balance just a little bit and you start getting these wobbles. Getting them wobbles!
Gonna have to write an Internet Chronicle story in the next day or two. The uh, advertisers are all up my ass right now. Saying, like, what the fuck are we paying for? Fuck this bus. Oh, yeah. Should we do one on the election? Yeah, we could do one on the election. Why not? Woo! Ooh, he came close. Uh, I feel like I missed my turn. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> this game just... It'll trick you. Make you think you've missed your turn. Yeah, here's my... Here's my town. Can you use your blinkers? Tables. All right, we made it. Let's uh let's get our let's get our act together here. Timo's gonna you know Is he gonna smell the alcohol on my breath? Wait, why, don't, why am I getting that out? Oh shit, it's stuck. Timo Timo Alright. We just gotta uh Play it cool while we're in here. Don't do anything to raise suspicions. He still has no juice. All right. At least he's got sausages. Okay. Ihmiset valitsevat, että kun ei ole rahoa oikein mitään ostu, niin voiko tämä ihmetyttää, että mitenkä sitä sitten siihen kaljaan mm. riittää rahaa, vaikka ei, ei ole mitään Oh, I didn't even rahaa. check my alternator belt. Kyllä kaljaa pitää silti saada. Oh, I need to go to Fleeteries and get, a, get that piston oh, and head gasket. Minun kannalta ihan hyvä juttu sekki. All right, let's see here. Um, Here's a beer. Okay, here we go. Oh, and we gotta go pay for the gas. We gotta get gas too. Shit. And come right back in here. All right. We got some more beer. We got our shit. I forgot what this is. Oh, it's sausages. Yeah. We got sausages. And uh, we're gonna get gas here. Very beautiful. But fuck, I can't remember what it takes. Does it take diesel? I mean, it sounds like diesel, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be diesel. What is the fucking, uh... It sounds like diesel. I think it takes diesel. Oh, it still has plenty. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I throw my groceries around like uh, just like some beast person. There we go. How much is it? That's not very much. It's so cheap to f keep the van topped off. Yeah, I just uh, I just struggle to fit in to the society. I go home and listen to my corn albums. Let's close the door be to prove to him that we are not, in fact, beasts. That I was not raised in a barn. That I'm a responsible citizen. I won't be treated like some common criminal in my town here. I just sold all this booze to the guy that buys booze. There we go. Now we gotta uh, go. Oh my God, this music. This is crazy. Um, I guess I could go by Fleeteries on the way home. And buy the piston, but I also need the head gasket. Like, I already know I need that, so I might as well not make two trips. Fuck, I should have thought about that before I left. We're listening to the smell of numbers converted to sound by Fox Net. The one and only. He just got a, uh, what did he get? He got a fucking, um, I forgot what he said he, he bought, that it, it's gonna help him uh, do melodies because this is like, like, he writes it ahead of time, but he's getting something, a sampler. He's getting a sampler. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll buy his album for sure. I told him this is uh, music to game by. We're going to go a little slower on the return because there's no... I thought I was under pressure, like I was going to run out of uh, fuel or something, but I've got plenty. Oh, there's the the gauge right there. Duh, I didn't even think to fucking look at that. I'm sure we were fine. We were fine. It, it was three quarters. And yeah, now we're hauling ass. Now we're hauling ass. Getting the speed wobbles. We're gonna slow it down. Some pretty good old boys on the internet these days, but none are so good as you and I, and yet uh, Twitch sees it fit to interfere with our ability to organize and uh, celebrate the president. Oh my, my backers, I've got this chair setting wrong. Oh, that's so much better. This fucking uh, desk chair is awesome. It's got all these settings, but you can be a dumbass and use them wrong. And and hurt your your little back. And that's punching right into my lumbar. How about I sit on that for six hours without adjusting it? Jeff Bezos is taking his feud with Trump to the next level. Oh, what are they doing? What are them good old boys up to? <gasps> Is that a dead guy? 
Oh my god, there he is. Who is that? <gasps> oh, he's breathing. He's alive. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? There goes the bus. Oh my god. <gasps> he's... He's having a seizure. Don't worry. Blue shirt, I'll save you. I won't let them do to you. <gasps> oh, he's got sweaty pits. We'll drag him by his feet, yeah? I won't let the other drivers pass you by and make a mockery of you. Here, let's go. Come on. We got him by the thighs. <gasps> oh! <laughs> almost, almost dragged him into traffic, dude. We gotta be more careful. Here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's he doing? <gasps> I broke his arm. Okay. Come on, dude. Get in the fucking van. All right, dude, I got you. Whoop. Whoa! This is... Just as embarrassing for me as it is for you, man. Just get in the fucking van. Oh my god. Look at him. He likes this. He thinks we're at a club. <laughs> get in the fucking van, dude. God, we got him. Wait, wait, before we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, piss on him. <laughs> what, dude, while you were sleeping, you pissed yourself. Oh, now the traffic did just see that. He got in the other lane. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's a dirty boy. Fucking little piss pig in the back. Whoop. All right, we're good to go. Here we go. Speed limit's 100. We'll do that plus 10. All right. How's he doing back there? Oh, he's still asleep. Well, we have a hostage anyway. No, he's a good guy. He's just, everybody has bad days, you know? We don't know what he's been through. So will he wake up and... Like, give me a quest or something? Yeah, I can lock him up in the parents' bedroom. Uh, I'll lock him in, the, in my parents' bedroom and close the door. Oh, it's too bad that, uh... That guy had no kill you. Or sugar or anything. I forgot where the parents went. They're gone for the summer. Who cares where they are? We got the house to ourselves and we got a fucking 
car to work on, you know? What more could you want? We'll read their letter and, and figure out where they are when we get back. I can't remember where the parents went. Is this my turn? Oh shit! Weapon T? I don't think so. No, I don't think that's my turn. Whoa! I love it. It's good music. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Almost drove off the road. Where are your parents? Because I'm coming over. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're swerving out of control. That's okay. It's okay. We got it. Now we see why that's the speed limit, you know? There it goes. This song really lets loose in the end. So when he gets his sampler, he'll be able to do melodies on the fly. Especially these tracks, the uh, melodies are like built in, I guess, as part of the loop. But on, on, let's listen to that first one again. Let me find it. Yeah, this one rocks. missed our turn. He posted a pretty cool video of his setup on uh, Twitter.
Yeah, that one jams. Those licks are righteous. Where's the fucking turn? Like an edible. Oh, I believe that's the turn ahead. Very good. Yeah, we made it back. Yeah, people said that that uh, Anarchist cook Cookbook was like this forbidden document that you must never touch and you must never... Uh, you and they'd be like, oh, did you hear such and such library had it? And it's like, as it turns out, it's this perfectly tame book. Absolutely surpassed and overshadowed in every possible way by the internet. <laughs> Just the most benign fucking material out there. Like, they considered Food Not Bombs pamphlets more dangerous than the Anarchist Cookbook. <gasps> What's that? Is that the fucking... Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's just an old container. Well, you know what? I think the tools or something might be it. Maybe the gas can is out here somewhere. I'm also missing my tools. Oh, I just remembered that we've got we've got a passenger. Let's check on him. How's he doing? He's perfectly fine. I guess. Uh, I lost, I lost something out here. I just, I thought I should check. This really is like Nintendo 64 out here. Um, no, just an empty fucking bottle. Well, whatever. The Anarchist Cookbook was the Antifa scare of its time. Welcome to the chat room. We're sucking, we're fucking, we're chilling in the chat room. Everybody's getting their dicks wet tonight. In a chat room. So you guys come here often, or um, did you know that we can like 
we can get you in for free. We're getting our dicks wet tonight. Yeah. We're getting our stingers wet. That's what we're doing. Getting that stinger wet. Let's, oh no, we're driving off the road. Talking about sucking and fucking. Got distracted. I took my eye off the prize for one second, you know. Maybe in the morning we'll find the diesel can. I feel like it might be in the woods somewhere over there. We'll see. But we've got precious cargo. And, uh... He's coming to bed. Maybe we'll put him on the couch? Because I feel like locking him in this back room is not fair. Maybe we could put him in here? I don't know. But, uh... Oh, what do I weigh? 80 kilograms? Is that a lot? How many is 80 kilograms? Look, if we put him here... Look, look, he can watch the television? This will be good for him. Come here, you drunk sack of shit. Get out of the car. Yeah, this guy needs help. He doesn't need our ridicule. He needs a couch to sleep on. Come on, dude. Come on. When you were a little boy, is this what you wanted for yourself? Come the fuck on. Oh, we're holding him up. This is good for him. It, it, it brings the blood back to the head. And it encourages vomiting. All right, let's... Uh, we almost got him here. Whoop. Well, he's missing the best part of the show, too. This is where they're eating. Get the fuck up here. Oh! Oh! Oh, he was standing up for a minute. Well... All right, let's get him up on the couch. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's missing it. This is the best. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's getting comfortable. Yeah, he's making himself at home. Can we take his shoes off? Oh, he's curling up. He's feeling sleepy. There you go, dude. There you go. <laughs> now he looks like he belongs here. Okay, that's cool. Here, we'll give him the last beer. So that when he wakes up, at least he has something. Uh-oh, oh no, he's, well that's good. This this encourages throwing up, he'll, this is so he won't choke to death on his own vomit. Uh, we need a beer of our own here. Yeah, his arm is all mangled. He is going to wake up wondering how his arm got broken. But he's going to think of me as his hero and not the guy that broke his arm. 
Like, I fucking rescued him, you know? He was just laying there while the traffic went by. Uh-oh. <gasps> Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Can I get it? Yes. You know, depth perception is kind of hard in, in this game. I dropped the sausages in my pee. Helping people is exhausting. I, it's time for bed after this. Okay. Well, doing the... <laughs> Dear Diary. Sometimes you have to do the right thing the wrong way. Tonight was one of those nights. I may never be able to look at myself in the mirror again. P.S. I am sorry for breaking your arm. Passed out guy. Love, hate, sex. Well, you know what that sound of that music means. <gasps> oh, he was trying to crawl to the bathroom and he got sidetracked. Get back up here. He probably heard me in there journaling and thought that maybe I was his lawyer. Oh! Well, fella, it's been nice helping out. He's going to rest all right. He's going to rest. <gasps> Look at his butt crack. He's going to rest easy. Tonight. Uh-oh, that's not good for his arm. There we go. Good night, fucked up guy. Don't die in my house. Oh, who's that? Who's that Collie? I'm trying to, f I'm searching desperately for the fucking flashlight here. I can't find the, oh, I missed the phone call. Right when I found the flashlight. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. That's why I should sleep with the light on. Passed out guy, still passed out. Let's see what time it is. I bet that guy needed a ride. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Um, so if he calls and I drive out there and he... If I miss his call, do you do you have to catch the call, I mean? Or can I just go out there?
Well, we're just going to take a chance. I assume that I can still go get the guy. Uh, we'll just... Uh, oh, shit. I should turn on the lights and everything. There we go. So I'll go and uh, I'll bring some sausages in case things go wrong. And I'm going to go try and pick up that drunk. Cause just because I missed his call, like I know who calls at 2am, that's him. He needs a ride. Um, so yeah. Oh, I left him at the. I left him alone in the house. That's not good. <gasps> oh, okay. So if I come back, and that guy has taken everything, I'm gonna run him over next time I see him. I think I'm driving into the tractor. It's so hard driving at night. Doing anything at night in this game is impossible. So what is the actual, like, what is the modern-day anarchist cookbook that you must never possess? What would that be? Would that be... Some, it would have to be something on the dark net, right? Like some horrible, evil set of instructions. Mein Kampf. Yeah, that's a that's a nasty book, all right, Mein Kampf. But that's not like an instruction. That just signals to people that, you know, you're a little nuts. Uh oh, there's the rain all of a sudden. Wow. I I bet people probably in Germany who bought that most of them just wanted a historic copy of something. And so there was, you know, there was that evil dictator's book that they banned. So you would have the... So in 50 years, like, you would have the first legal copy of Mein Kampf since World War II. Like, I, I, could, I could see that, I guess. As a German, anyway. Like, no American, I don't think, would bother collecting that. Unless they were one of those fucking people. You know, some Nazi fuck. Whoops, that's the handbrake. Oh, just an empty buzz. Yeah, fucking meaningless.
So to get to Fleetery, I follow these signs. The lot. Oh, no, no, no. I'm supposed to pick up the drunk guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Picking up the drunk guy. And then I'll go and I'll worry about uh, getting my... Uh-oh, here comes Cousin. And then I'll worry about getting the head gasket. No, but there has to be some kind of... Because, you know, even after Mein Kampf came out, there was the Anarchist Cookbook, and nobody was like, oh, Mein Kampf. But there has to be a fucking alternative, like a modern-day dangerous book. Like, what's the dangerous book? Kilgore wrote a book that was attempting to... I mean, it was the attempt wasn't to be... A, uh... Oh, no, we're picking up the drunk guy. Yes, yeah, so we go right. Kilgore wasn't trying to write an anarchist cookbook or anything, but it was a criticism of cults and groups that use cult-like mentalities. Uh, it was a really interesting book about where a lot of it is like Art of War or something could be applied to corporate America. Oh yeah, people people talk a lot about Salman Rushdie. I don't know anything about that guy. He comes up on hate radio from time to time. But I don't know enough about him. Was that like the, the leader's hand guide? Yes. Yes, it's still hosted on the Chronicle. Uh... Because that was that was dangerous. That promoted some dangerous ideas, but not on the scale of Anarchist Cookbook. The weirdest thing, it, uh, like the closest that comes is, I, I'll go ahead and give away the ending to anyone not familiar with the book. Uh, it ends with, he's yelling fire in a crowded theater. <laughs> Like, throw down this book and get the fuck out. It's burning down. And yes, it, it was a good primer on Anonymous. Uh, because it was... This was around Occupy Wall Street. And, you know, it was an inspiring read because it touched directly on this thing that was happening. And it wasn't really getting dressed. It, it wasn't called out. Like the human microphone. That is the creepiest shit ever. When there's not enough crowd for a microphone. <laughs> but they're doing it anyway. And we will meet. And we will meet. At the compass. At the compass. At 5 p.m. tomorrow. At 5 p.m. tomorrow. And it's like, dude, there's 12 of you. I could hear her from across the fucking city over here you guys what are you doing I, I could hear her better than their murmured chanting so and I can't remember if the book touches upon that but it, that's the kind of thoughts that it was giving me and that's kind of um, like it's constructive but it's also destructive in a way it's uh, you could say that it deconstructs <laughs> I'm too high to have this kind of conversation but there's got to be some, I, you know, it's got to be on the dark net. How to make real bombs. How to make what the Sarnaves made out of a pressure cooker at the Boston bombing or something. Exactly. Look at all these people getting up and going to work. Sure. We're, pick, we're uh, giving them the finger. Remember Totsi? Temple of the Streaming Electron. I don't remember that.
totes my ghosts. There's a big hub of texts, like Anarchist Cookbook. Oh, okay. A big hub of, like, forbidden works. Textfiles.org is a, another modern good one. I'll check that out. I was looking through e-literature the other day. Basically, like, adult choose-your-own-adventure stories e-literature. And it's, it's hypertext is what it's called in the e-literature community. Having, I don't think, very much to do with, like, hypertext protocol and such. I believe this is my town here. Yuko, we got the call. I heard you were drunk. Is he waiting at the bus stop? No, he is not. That f motherfucking piece of shit. Prank called my ass. All right, so you have to you have to get his call. God damn it! And I I could have been getting the parts. Okay. Well, what else can I do while I'm out here? These are the guys that killed. Uh, they killed Tamo. These guys are nothing to fuck with. That one was driving on his head. All right, so we got to drive back home. <laughs> Are these the guys with the sinister beats? They're in there listening to Fuxnet right now. Let's see what's on the radio. Oh, I could go to the dump. I'll go over to the dump and I'll pick up some stuff. And maybe even find the diesel can. Oh, oh, I know where I should check. I should check at the boat dock. Is this copyrighted music? Is it copyrighted? Yeah, no diesel can. Fuck. Every day, 
Ei hätää. Osta uutta puhisi hävytäiden puista tärpättiä. Tilaa heti numerosta 0700 525 625. Puhisi hävytäiden puistaja. Puhisi puhisi hävytäiden Alivieskan Ufakontakkihenkilöiden yhteistyöryhmä on perustanut viimein yhdistyksen. Oletko tullut tukojen sieppaamaksi tai nähnyt ukoista pelottavia unia? Olipa kokemuksesi millainen tahansa, voit Alivieskan Ufakontakkin ryn kautta jakaa kokemuksia kaltaisesi kanssa. Ota yhteyttä meihin soittamalla numeroon 2452833 tai lähettämällä yhteistietosi meille postitse osoitteeseen Alivieskan. I wonder what would be considered dangerous at this point. Like, what is a dangerous text? What would it have to lead to? It would have to be something, like, inciting. Because I don't think just providing a bomb recipe is... Like, maybe it is grounds for some kind of uh, prosecution, but I've never seen it, right? You never hear about that, somebody publishing... illegal materials unless it's like sick shit you know we seem to have a lot of that <laughs> but not so much like stuff that's dangerous to uh, to the state like you just don't see that do you I wonder what that is Here we go. We're gonna try and pick up a couch. I know there's a couch out here. I am, but I'm actually searching for two things. I, I need the diesel can and I lost my tools. So if I could find both of those, that'd be great. Okay, peace out, man. Um, see you soon. Always nice to have you. There goes somebody living a life. There goes somebody living his best life. Running errands. Who's Aaron? There's the landfill. So I take it you just drive around here? I don't really know how to find stuff. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's all the juice containers. He fucking drank it all. Whoops. Oh, no shit. Oh, this is awesome. Empty. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Now I can sell more booze to that guy. That is so fucking awesome. This is really the best thing that has happened to me all day.
There's a radio show coming to town. I got it all wrote, and it's going to go down. Not sure who to have on for a guest. That's my big, uh, that's my big question right now. Oh, oh we got to fit the, the bike and the couch. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh no, it won't close. Get in there, dude. You can do it. You can get in there. Oh, it's jiggling. Oh, it's bouncing everything around. Maybe once I start to drive it, it'll it'll chill out. This is a relaxing game. It's good to just uh, lose yourself in it. Just fuck around. But I did not find my tools, and I did not find the diesel can. So, I don't know. Those are still lost somehow. But at least I got these plastic bottles. And I can go home and make booze. Got sort of lost again, you know, but it's cool. It's no big deal. Let's see what's happening in the chat rooms. And w WT Fox. Everybody's doing a sync. Missed it. 
Oh, there it goes. Might have to look into another one of these gummy bears. Right, so we're back on the road. I gotta go left. Just good guys all around. Everybody's a good guy, you know? We're good guys. You're good guys. Everybody's just good guys, you know? I mean, good, good guys. Good God. That's all I'm saying. Sweet Christ, you guys are good guys. You people are good. I mean, some good fucking people. Look, I don't want to say you're good, but... You can come carol in my yard any day. I used to have this speech teacher, and she was so hot. I used to stay after school, try to make small talk with her, try to get her to be like, so, you want a better grade? <laughs> she would never cross that line, though. But damn, she said I was sexy. So I had to stay up for school, you know? <laughs> like... You know, I, I would miss other classes just to stay after. She invited me to one of her plays one time. And, um... It, was a, it happened to be a touching play. So, you know, I stuck around for it, but, uh, and I cried, and then I wrote her the nicest little review that a, that a boy could write. I mean, I don't want to say it was a glowing review, but it did set off my Geiger counter. I mean, this was a glowing review, and I was like, here you go, and it was basically a fucking love letter. <laughs> but I got extra credit for it. It was like, come watch my play and kiss my ass in a review, and uh, you'll get brownie. You get extra credit. You get brownie points. You get to stay after class and dust my erasers. At least that's what I wanted, you know. But I, I don't know what whatever, whatever. I would have done anything to have been put in a compromising situation by that speech teacher. She taught me everything I know about not saying, um... Where am I going? Home? She was a pretty good old bird, all things considered. Wouldn't mind going back in time and risking my college career on her. We're going to check on our, our sick guy. Make sure drunk guy is still alive in the house. We beat the train every time.
just looking for how to turn the lights off. Can I not reach her? Oh, there they are. So during the pandemic of 18, tw uh, 1912, or 1918, or whatever the fuck it was, were there dumbasses back then too that was like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spread it around. There were, there were people doing that, right? That's not just a 2020 thing, is it? Oh yeah, we got the couch. We got all our bottles. We're gonna make booze and fucking sell it to that guy today. And then uh, I'll go carry my parts over there, too. Whoops. You know what? I should probably take this around back. The bottle's rolling in perfect unison in the floor. That's fucking awesome. I'm getting a lot more confident with my little van here. Oh, I'm so close to that. That's, that's good enough. Whoops. Wrong side. Oh, I can do this. You can just throw it through the window. Oh, is drunk guy in there? He still is. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's good. That's my roommate now. That's my roommate. Is that all of them? There's probably some under the couch, right? There has to be. Oh, shit, there's one. Typhoid Mary. I thought you were going... Whoops. I thought you had errands. Oh, no, my feet are fucked. Landed perfectly upside down. Let's see, is that now? Is that all of them? I'm gonna do a quick run. 
a quick uh, run through Skyrim. A quick run through Final Fantasy VII. A run through. Okay, there we go. We got booze to make. Hopefully this shit isn't rotten. I can't remember when I started it. We'll start the coffee back. Get that going. Is it rotten? Ooh, it looks rotten. What to do if it's all brown? So I don't know if this is any good. I don't know if this brown shit is like, uh, is right. We'll drink it and see. Whoa. Yeah, it gets you fucked up. Okay. We're going to sell it. Even if he doesn't like it, who gives a shit, right? We need the money. We need the goddamn money. Yeah, the vision's getting blurry. Getting harder to stand. We're making it now. Oh, it's going to be difficult to drive over to his place. 
I forgot to turn the coffee on. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. What about this one? Want to kill you? Okay. So is that... That's all my cans. Yeah? We still have some? We, st we do still have a little bit. Fuck it, we'll keep it, because who knows. And, uh... Let's just put it back in here. Oh, I've got some sugar, but I don't have enough. Maybe a cold shower will sober us up, yeah? Yeah, this helps. We'll be able to drive soon. Some coffee will sober us up. Give me the fucking coffee, man. Oh, it must be empty. All right. I oh, know there's coffee in there. This is hard. Uh, oh yeah, so now we gotta load all the kill you back up. Oh, I can do this. Yes! So drunk. Fucking wasted. Can barely walk. Wasted. Doom doom. Oh shit, I'm fucked up. Alright, there's the last one. Uh, now we gotta go around to the garage and get those parts. Let's see, what is it? Uh, wiring mess. Where's my gasket? There's the head gasket. We'll take this. Oh, oh the car got dented. How did that happen? I... I where the tools have got to be in here somewhere. There's our head gasket. And I need the other piston out of this uh, out of this engine. But I, I think to take that out, I have to take out the whole block, right? 
Anyway, he'll let me buy the one piston. I just wish I could buy two from him. Because I, I can see that the other one is bad. Okay. Or maybe it's in the... I can do it from the parts catalog here. No. Antenna. Alright, that battery's dead. Um... Oh, mud flaps. Okay. Here I go. Why is it still boiling? We'll take our coffee with us. Don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. <laughs> Don't talk to me till I've had my kill you. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. People really don't like when this is uh, anything but hate radio or Skyrim. that coffee. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> spilling coffee on myself. I'll have to sue McDonald's. Here we go. And we're off. Can I get through here? I think the kill you is an appetite suppressant.
I come? I, uh, let's see uh, how he likes this. This is some fucked up weird kill you I made for you, sir. Please. I grovel at your... At your socks. As you try my kill you. Yeah, how you like it. Damn right, baby. Give me that 170. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Alright. We got so much more for you, baby. You're gonna love this shit. Here you go. Give me that money. Oh, yeah. Give me that money, you fucking drunk. He's drinking it out of garbage. Give me that money. Give me that money. Oh, we're about to make 2,000. Here we go. Give me that 2,000, son. Give me that money, you fuck. Whoop. There we go. You drink it out of juice like a little baby. Take that money. Take the money and fun. Yeah, we're making excellent money now. This will surely keep us going. This is the guy who stood me up. I, I went to go pick him up. He called me, but I, I missed the call, but I went anyway to get him just because I'm a good friend and he fucking got a ride from someone else. I guess I'm not that good of a friend. I plan to kill this guy. Take him for everything he's worth and fucking drive him to suicide. That's my plan. 3,000. Oh, wow. We can afford to really fix up the car now. Okay, do I have any more booze to give him? Or is that all of it? I guess that's all of it. Shit, we can't shut the door now. Alright, we gotta fix that. Open. What the fuck? Hmm. Why did I open that? We'll get it. We'll get it shut back. We'll get it shut back again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you, and fuck you. just rang and I picked it up and uh, that's why I'm, I, I, did you call here? No, uh, no, you called yeah. here. <laughs> I did. That's really weird because the phone rang. I, I called. called. Yeah, no, I must have got wires crossed or something. Is this the Waffle House? What is going on? Oh, I don't know, it's really weird. Huh? That sounds really cool. <laughs> is this the Waffle House? Okay. Oh, okay. Independent Records, this is Corey. Uh, 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 hi, I'm Sergio. You are who? 
I am Sergio, and I seek Gordon Jump. Gordon Jump, huh? Blockbuster, Colfax, and Augie. Hi, I am, uh, I am Sergio, and uh, I require the most extravagant movies available. If possible. Yeah. And is that, is that a five, is that three-day rental or five-day rental? Hello? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear like half what you said. Sergio? That's, that's my name? Yeah. And I uh, require uh, extravagant movies. For my rental needs. Uh, is that going to work? or? Hello? Yeah. I'm looking to get a three to five day rental on some titles. What title are you looking for? Uh, Saving Private Hamburger Hill. Bobby Hill. Be here. Be here. Be here. Be here. Be here. Uh, could I do something like that? Okay, hold on a sec. Where are you coming from now? So what title were you looking for again? Uh, two, two, two to six day rental. Two to six? We only have... A camelback. We're here at Fleeteries. We're gonna just, uh, take care of some business. Some, some official car business. I'm gonna move the sofa here. Because I think it would be cool to like move into his store. What was that, a dino? Okay. I think, yeah, I think it'd be cool to live here at the garage, you know? And just sleep here sometimes if I want. Oh, what's this? This is the paint room. Oh, you can walk through it. Okay. I'll take it. All right, so, so let's go in here and see if he can fix my gasket for me. If you know what I mean. Oh, where is it? Did I lose it? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, there's my coffee, too. This is no way to treat a cup of coffee. I hope it doesn't spill. There we go. So there's my piston. Oh, there's my head gasket. This shit is not cheap. Oh, wow. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my good man. I do here. Oh, that's the service brochure. Okay. So he closes at four. He's open from eight to four. And if you put your car in, he loans you this. All right, let's see here. We're thirsty? Oh, oh, there goes cousin. Oh, who's this guy? Who's this character? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's wearing the drunk shirt. 
By the way, I, I don't know if you uh, you saw it, but the drunk is still at the house. He's still he's still sucking around at the house. Uh oh, where did my coffee cup go? Do you lose it if you're holding on to the? Oh no! Where did it go? Oh, there it is. You just threw it on the ground. Okay. Do you have an account here at all? Yes, yeah, under Sergio, my man. Spell it. Uh. Yeah. Radio Shack. This Ron. Hi. 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 Ron, I was um. I'm in, sorry. I was in need of a of an upgrade. Uh, okay. In in which are are you speaking of? I've, I've got, got a, a, a realistic wand. Just, uh, I think it's triple A. I'm sorry, what is that now? A wand. A wand. Yeah, it's a realistic. Okay, okay, okay. The deoxifying, uh, nebulizing wand. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. I'm for 99. This one. For it's $99. No, sir, I'm talking to somebody else. So, how much with tax? And then you get your 10% off of that, too. Grab it. Okay. Sorry, sir. I was kind of just checking, checking, checking it out. What did you say the price is? Okay, sorry. Let, let's let's start back up. Let's start over. I was okay. talking to another customer. Gotcha. Sorry about that. We were just doing three things at the same no, time. No, no, bullseye. You got the bullseye. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the the wand you were talking about. Okay, what kind of wand is that that you're speaking of? Um, ne uh, retro nebulizing, realistic wand. Okay, don't don't have any idea what that is. Do you have Which one? Okay, well, it was in the circular, so I thought I'd give you a holler. I actually can't hear you. How many do you have in stock? Is all I'm trying to find out. I can't hear you. Um, what's the stock uh, number, sir? Yeah, uh, the the skew number. Correct. Oh, is your phone? What's the stock number, sir? Uh, it's RVU. 333, 333, 333, Thanks for calling Radio Shack. This is John. How may I help you? John, hi. This is Herbie. I just talked to you a minute ago. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I didn't have the proper SKU number on the item I needed. Um, it was a SKU number. It SKU wasn't me, but... <clears throat> SKU, 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 SKU number. Okay. I've got it now. It's the uh, RV RV seven seven seven. Did you get that? No way. Ah, oh, bud, that's weird, huh? Are you on a cellular phone? No, man. Can you repeat that, please? Yeah. This our turn. Orange Julius, Southwest is dead. Yeah. Do you have um mint? Anything in mint? No, I sure don't. Not like a pepper or anything? No, I don't have anything. Okay, um, Sorry. can we talk pumpkin for a second? <laughs> pumpkin Once again, comes, uh, uh, pumpkin Julius. in November. Pumpkin Julius, or the uh, shamrock Julius? Uh, the shamrock I haven't done in a while. Okay. Now, how much are the pretzels needed when you're preparing the dough there? How much kneading is Oh, no! The pretzels come pre-made. <laughs> At that stage. Oh, oh my I'm God. sorry? At the kneading stage. Oh, no. What a terrible wreck. I think we're cool, right? Jesus. Here, let's, let's, let's assess the fucking damages here. What the hell did I just do? Oh, the van's fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, I just gotta go back down there. And I was going way too fast for that road. This is uh, LPC 
on the radio? If you don't need them, I don't need them. So, uh... So, City Squeeze, this is Jan. Hi. Um, how long would it take you to pre prepare a special squeeze for me? Well, what do you want? If I came down. Uh, some, like a guava, wheat germ, uh, okay. kind of a uh, celery stick kind of thing. No, I don't have um, vegetables. Okay, well then we could go with uh, pumpkin and uh, I don't have that either. some kind of different things in there. How long would that take to squeeze something like that for me? I don't have that either. What have you got, like uh, no. melon? Have you got any melon? The, no, I don't right now. Mango? Not in season yet, huh? Mango, okay. No. I've got guava. Guava's good. I want to go with guava and some uh, some nectar in there. Um, the seal squeeze it, right? Well, we don't we don't fresh squeeze it. You might want to. What do you What do you mean? I mean, with our chillers, they're juice and then whole strawberries. If I brought my own concoction, would you squeeze it? Hold on a moment. Maybe after uh, after you open or some. Oh. Can I help you? Yeah, I, w I was telling the lady there about uh, concoction I'd like to drink. Come on in. And I'd like to get it squeezed for me, if I could. How long would that take is all I was asking. You know? What are you ordering? Uh, guava concoction, pretty much. No, we don't take orders over the phone. Well, I'm not going to order it over the phone. I'm going to come in and order it and drink it. Okay. In the See store. You get here. Well, how long is that going to take, partner? I don't know. How far away are you? I'm in Laramie, Wyoming right now, character. Oh, you hop on your horse and come on down. Why don't you get off yours? G -side Hi. What's going on? It's fake. Hi. I'm looking for um, Gus. Who is it? Gus, who was a friendly ghost. Oh, from the from the Casper. Or uh, that Jack in the Box head, the top. Ew. Maybe like a magnet or a bobble. Hmm. Eh, we don't have anything like that. Uh. Is there like a certain company that makes these? Mm. Or? Is it McFarlane or something? I think it might be Arch Archuleta. I think it might uh, Have you got any kind of sock puppet fantasy kind of things? No. Or puppet fantasy kind of things? Where where would you go? Where would you head for something like that? Where, where would you go? Yeah, uh, definitely check out LPC. That's some of the funniest fucking um, prank calling that there is. It is uh, ass hurt magfags. Just kept sending me his links, so I was like, all right. And then it was like some of the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. All right, so we got our brand new head gasket over here for the car. We got a brand new piston for the car. Where is it? Oh, it's in the floor. We're rolling around with the coffee cup. And just so I don't lose it, I better put the coffee cup uh, inside. <gasps> it's still going. How is it still hot? What have I done wrong here? Zero, zero, everything's turned down. Why is it still warm? All right, it's just like stuck on uh, permanent. There's nothing in it and it's sizzling. about prank calls is keeping the punchlines going without them realizing it like uh and without being too much of a cunt and just making it for like you know upsetting people my favorite prank call to do 
is the uh, I'll I'll look up funny names in the phone book and I'll call them up and uh, you know I'll pretend to be I'll say this is so and so from the research institute of like Colorado or something you know it'll be 3 a.m. and I, and I'll say like and we're you know we're looking up uh, uh, oh he's still in here He's still in here, just living rent-free under the chair. So we're conducting a study on last names and their origins. So in my line of work, you know, uh, a lot of times a person's last name, it will be what their ancestors. You know, like say Jeremy Fisher. Well, Jeremy's ancestors were probably fishermen when they got off the boat and Blake Hunter well you know maybe uh, they were they were hunters and so when they got off the boat they you know they were hunters what did your ancestors do mr. nutkiss uh, that's a good one my uncle taught me that one he taught me to call and threaten places like 7-eleven threatened to sue because I when I was in their establishment I fell in, in the wet floor, I, I slipped and fell on my ass, and now it's got a big crack in it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe take the hood completely off. Let's see, here's the tools I have to use, which I'm, I'm cool with it, I guess. It's just like, uh, I don't, um. I just don't know what happened to my other tools. So, let's see what kind of bolts this takes. Whoops. I wish it would just tell you when you pointed at it, you know? But instead, you gotta, like, fuck with every possible thing it could be. Am I even looking at the right place? Where does it bolt in? Yeah, right there. Oh, there it is. get this fucking thing out. There's mount points here. Building, just the chassis finishing up. Um, put on the subframe, steering rack. Where do you put the engine in?
Fucking mosquitoes. We're looking for the third engine mount. Maybe it's in the front. Yeah, like right there, maybe. Maybe it's underneath. This one won't roll it either direction. What up with that? Does it not roll in anymore? Okay. Where's the third one? That was the second one. One, two. Oh, I bet it's right there. No, that's like where the wheels go in, right? Fuck. All right. Fucking phone. Oi, me jälleen kaivo oli ihan täyttä ase. Tulsiks putsailemaan sen. I don't have to suck sewage. I'm a moonshiner now. 
so what am I doing wrong here? I gotta find the third mount. Was that it? Oh, I think that was it. So I wonder what else, what I did unscrew. Oh, I unscrewed something important. Un fucking important. Oh my goodness. Oh, the engine. <laughs> okay, well, so much for the crane. The fucking engine just completely fell out. Oh my god. And what is this? The half shaft? Oh no, all right, whatever. Okay, we can work with this. Whoop. Oh, what a mess. What an absolute mess. That's the stuff we get high on. Dead batteries. Just dead fucking batteries. Uh, there's coolant. Oh, this is exciting. This is fucking exciting. Okay. Let's get this fucker taken apart. There's, oh my god, there's so many pieces I don't understand. Here we go. Take the set with us. How the hell? All right, well, I'm just trying to get the pistons out, right? Maybe I don't have to take everything apart? I'm not sure. Maybe I do. See, I'm going to take... I want to take that piston, that busted old burnt piston, that's going to die soon too, you know? The gearbox looks fine. I mean, it's rusty and old, but, and this shit looks okay. But yeah, that's unscrewed, so I've, I've got to, like, take this apart now. So you just take it apart in the order that you you put it together in. There's the oil, take off the oil filter. Oh no, but I'm gonna lose my oil. Right? I'm gonna have to put new oil in this. All right. Maybe I don't have to take off the oil filter. I've taken off the air filter, the fuel pump, Let's see where's the fuel pump. Oh wait, the fuel pump is in there maybe? Dude, I don't know shit. Is that the fuel pump? No. Is it back here? Oil pan? Oh no, 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 no. The rocker cover? Is that the fuel pump? I think it is. I don't think I need to take that off. I'll take off the drive gear, the gearbox. I have to take all that shit off, right? Yeah. What's left on the car? Is 
Still got the electric mess. Radiators in there. Clutch assembly, brake assembly, all that bullshit. That's electrical stuff or something, I think. But all this stuff here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I gotta take off the gearbox and the oil pan. Just gonna dump all the oil everywhere, right? I didn't let the oil out. Does that matter? I wish I could just break that fucking piston out of there. I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, so these that only let you unscrew. So that must mean that I, I fucked something up really bad. Like the oil pressure is forcing it open. I don't know. Man, you can royally fuck shit up in this game. What is this coming off now? The fuel pump. Yeah! Yeah, I knew I was supposed to take that off. Oh my god. I got off the rocker cover. Uh, that oil pan should have come off. What happens if I if I unscrew that big one? That's the one that the the oil comes out. Yep, there it goes. Making a mess. Oh, this is an environment hazard here. Am I going to get a fine? Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I am. Who gives a shit, right? There's my new head gasket, my new piston.
the gearbox six it has seven millimeters the inspection cover okay got all those didn't it well, I guess I didn't beautiful And the oil pan, I guess we can go ahead and take off of the gearbox. Or did we? Did that just fall off? Where's the oil pan? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it just breaks off. And uh, the clutch assembly. That should be six, right? How the hell are you going to put this back together? <laughs> I don't know. I'll worry about that when I get to it. I didn't even know how to take it apart. And I'm taking it apart. So, Woo! There's the drive gear. That drive gear is looking pretty haggard. I might just drive to Fleeteries and see what a new one of those costs. But I'm still taking off the oil pan, right? No, I did take that off. And then that was the clutch assembly, I believe. Now there's the drive gear. The clutch assembly still has to come off. There it is. And and you know, you gotta like retune all this stuff too. That shit is looking a little rough. So that's the clutch cover plate. Uh, which is the clutch disc attached to the clutch pressure plate. And then what does that take? Are those, is that all one? Oh, yes, beautiful. So the clutch cover plate could maybe use replacement too. The clutch disc looks okay. Uh, and let's take off the flywheel, which also looks fine. It's a little warm, but it's not as bad as that cover plate. Well, son, you can take a part of this car in a video game, what you can't do it in real life and get a job. Got the flywheel off. Well, son, you can make a living at this. What's this that wants to come off next? Oh, yeah. The engine plate comes off flawlessly. This little part right here, I guess I need to finish taking it off. Okay, that's the starter. Starter looks good. You know, I'm learning a lot. 
it's okay that uh, that this is crazy. Putting it together was okay. I used a guide, but taking it apart, now that's the real. That's the real learning experience. Now that I've put it together, now that I'm taking it back apart, I'm really, I feel like I'm getting it. What size would that be, a six? Maybe a seven. Who the fuck knows? Uh, took off the flywheel. Uh, took off the headers. Yeah, did I take off the headers? Or, or, I mean, I don't see them. Where would they be? Oh, there they are. They're attached to this motherfucker. Which this looks okay. The headers are looking rough, but I don't need to take those off. Carburetor. I took the starter off. Um, that'd be the carburetor, right? The air filter? No, 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 no. Carburetor is down here somewhere. I think it's cool. Okay. The engine plate is off. Oh, now I gotta take off the belts and shit. I just want to get these. Maybe now I can get the piston out. That's all I wanted to do. Does the piston come out yet? No. Oh man, I'm breaking it all the way down. All right, it's all got to come apart. So the alternator is that one big screw, which I did. Let's just make sure it's that I got it. You know, it's not enough to work all day. I work all night. Oh, it's dark now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, there's my alternator. Takes a seven. Okay, now I don't know what I'm unscrewing. That's the water pump pulley. So I thought I was unscrewing the alternator right here. But now I I really don't know how to get it off. What is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, and a screwdriver? No, that's just to adjust it, right? How do I get the belt off? Do I loosen this? Oh, we got a link here. We're going to watch. And I can't, I'm having a great time. I can't feel my body, um, but I don't really need my body. This is about Trump's body. I think this whole thing has been blown way out of proportion, you know? Like, yeah, they didn't let us drive our cars here, but it's because they said, you know, our cars are poor. And that doesn't look good on TV. You know, you're a TV person. You know that. Oh, okay. This is the lady. She's stranded at the Trump rally. Trump leaves on Air Force One. There's like a thousand people. Oh, oh, so this is fake. I think he did this to teach us a lesson. Or not fake, but parody. I really do. What, what was that lesson? 
Um, well, that's not really for me to know. And that's actually a pretty nasty of you to ask. Democrats want to have their bus rides and have their bus rides back too. This isn't the Polar Express. Tom Hanks isn't in charge of this thing. He's in Greece being a pedophile. No, I don't feel like he abandoned us. No. Listen, I, I would walk 750 miles and below zero temperatures, nip nude, just to hear him speak. Maybe that's not appropriate to say, but yes, I've seen some elderly people passed out um, and, and unresponsive. Um, but it, to be honest, the only reason there's so many of, of those people is because the media keeps counting them. And so if, if people like you guys weren't counting the little people that were on the ground, there, there wouldn't be as many. Ooh, doggies. She did play the uh, indignant whatever. Pretty good. I wonder what those people really did think. They were stranded out there. Just like, we're not stranded. We made a choice to be out here. We signed a waiver that said we could get sick and get our family sick. But this is the hardest part, is getting the the right size socket on these fucking things. Oh, there it came. We got that shitty piston loose. Piston 4 was a bad boy. It was about to burn out. We can break all the pistons out, but we don't really need to anymore. I do need that crankshaft out. So piston four is the bad boy now. That's the one that. Who do I think is winning the race? The presidential election race? Uh, earlier on Twitter, I pretended not to know who the candidates were. Distributor, off. Piston three, on the fucking table. There's piston four. Piston two is brand new. Brand spanking new. I, upset, I offended some good old boys down in the southern New Jersey, in rural New Jersey, by pretending not to know what 9-11 was. I was like, oh, the national tragedy. And they, they looked at me like, you fucking motherfucker. Fucking piece of shit. You better know what 9-11 is. You're supposed to never forget. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that old fossil Biden is supposed to win. You know, I got $50 on it anyway. So we'll see. Uh, what size? How do I get that fucking belt off? Like, I thought I did this. Um... How do I move it? Like, I'm just trying to slide it and loosen it, you know? So I can get that belt off. I, but I... I don't know how to do that in the game.
The water pump pulley. Four of those. Got it. The timing cover. Oh, okay, here we go. Maybe this, once I get this off. Yeah, so if Trump wins, I'm going to be out 50 bucks and Trump is going to be the president. Like, that's going to really suck for me, you know? Does that get it? Nope. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty fucking shitty. I What I don't understand about people who support Trump is it's like, don't you at least care ab about the country a little bit? Like, I get it. He's a thorn in the side of everybody you don't like, but like, aren't there more important things than... Just pissing off people you don't like? Like, should that come at the detriment of so society as we know it? So the timing chain, the camshaft gear, all that shit has to come off. There's the timing chain. But I can't get that off because I've got all this other shit here. I, I must be doing something wrong. <gasps> there it goes. Now I can take the belt off, right? Whoops. How do you take off the altar? Oh. oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we still have it, too. That's cool. Okay. Very nice. Oh, all this shit is coming loose now. Crankshaft pulley looks okay. The water pump pulley is fine. It's got a little damage inside, but it's okay. Uh, what about that timing cover? We still got one right there. Oops, that screws it in? No. Where are those going? No. Why is it screwing them back in? What the fuck? This doesn't make sense. It's going the wrong direction. What? Does it only screw in? <laughs> How much do you actually know about vehicle engineering? Not very much. I know that Chrysler put in the first air conditioners. They like to keep it cool and comfy. Uh, clearly, I don't know how to take off the timing cover. Or the alternator. Like, nothing's unscrewing anymore. That's what I don't understand. It it doesn't unscrew anymore. What am I doing wrong here? What is this thing? That's something. What is that? What is that fucking thing?
Yeah, like I understand the basic principle of the engine. It builds up pressure in those uh, in these chambers here where the pistons fire. But as far as actually, how do I like, how do I remove that thing? Like that's so simple. And why could I only screw these in? Oh, maybe I needed to roll that back out. Is that the idea? No, I doubt that. Look how it screw they screw in and tighten, but they don't fucking loosen. What a that's bullshit. Oh, is it because I'm thirsty? Like am I dying of thirst? Is that the the problem here? Yeah, it's late. It's late on a Thursday, man. Where's my lights? I still hear that shit boiling in here. So confusing. too dark. I can't see the light switch in here. But I do have a flashlight in here somewhere. Oh no. Dude, I can't get to the fucking phone. That is maddening. I'm just looking for my goddamn light. Oh, well, we went to sleep. Oh, the light was in the floor. It fell on the floor. Okay. Whatever. Starving to death. Thirsty. Yeah, that that is... It, it gets really frustrating when it's dark like that. See this coffee shit? It's just making this sound all the time like why does it boil everywhere that doesn't make sense
Can you really smoke in the shower? I guess you can, right? Yeah, that's great. Now it's raining in the car, right there in the open compartment. The engine is <laughs> completely <laughs> broken down. And it only tightens. I thought that might be because I was sleepy. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Why that? Like maybe I have to take this off somehow. Uh, maybe this hose has to come loose. Oh my goodness. Do I have to do this? Oh. That's so funny. It's it, it's connected to nothing. Maybe that was the problem all along, right there. <laughs> okay, radiator hoses. You can still hear that coffee sizzling, that empty coffee. All right now, yeah, that breaks loose. And then maybe I can finally unscrew these fucking things. They would only tighten. No, they still only tighten, what the fuck? What the mother fuck? These sixes. They only, they won't fucking release. Why? Why won't it come loose? Is there something here I'm supposed to do? Has anybody ever actually played this game? Like, how do you... The only things that it'll let me touch, they can't be spun anymore. Like, that's it.
I'm using the right size socket. I, it must be that, I, that this has to come off somehow before I can do that. Maybe that has to be firm. Oh, no, no, it did it again. It only let me screw them in, but it won't let me screw them out. Yeah, that just screwed into nothing. And now it's stuck. The shit will not come apart. Maybe this stuff has to come apart before I can take that apart? It won't let me unscrew anything, man. Everything is just fucking stuck. Maybe if I restart the game... Because uh, that, that's all I can figure. There must be something wrong here. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what other stores would carry that. Yeah, wouldn't you like to find an outfit that looked like that hostess pie guy with the wand and everything? <laughs> an outfit like that? I would. I couldn't tell you. We just. You we can tell me. Tell me. You, 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 you could tell, tell me. me. I won't I tell, tell anybody. anybody. No, sir. So you can tell me. Where should I go? I have no clue. You probably should talk to my son, because actually he's the one that, that knows that stuff more than I do. Oh, Noah? Huh? Noah? No, Elijah. Oh, right. Uh, okay, here we go. We're back. Our friend is gone. Maybe he was fucking everything up. Maybe now... We can do this. Yes! They come out. Beautiful. Yes! The water pump is off. I, I didn't... I didn't realize. That felt like some game-breaking shit right there, but now it's fine. Off. Oh. 
Beautiful. Timing chain. That shit looks good. It's a good looking timing chain. There's the crankshaft also. Looking very good. Handsome crankshaft. Uh, what's that? It's a 10, right? No? Alright, that's out. And it takes something else too, right? Maybe the screwdriver? Everything just unscrews now. That's that's awesome. You get so used to it not working that now that it works again, you're like, fuck yeah, this is this is the good shit when it works. And that's gonna come off too. Perfect. Alternator. But why can't I pick it up? Oh there it goes. Okay. Yeet! One, two, three, seven, two. Not convinced that's a real person. Uh, but, uh, Toxie? Toxie is real. That much we know for sure. That camshaft gear looks great. Okay, well, you know, I wanted to break the engine block all the way down to its constituent parts here. And, and I think I've done that. So I don't know if this thing that the oil filter goes into comes loose. I don't think it does. Let me, let me do this. Don't I have some fucking... Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that is handsome. Now, it's a little bit easier to tell like what's what here. What is this item? Does that come loose? It does look like something. Let's see. No. It might not. It is something. What is that? Oh! Yeah. It's showing where, the camshaft. But it's not, like, destroyed. Okay. Yeah, so what are you doing with Toxie? Is that going away? Are you not Toxie anymore? Was he too toxic? That's what Biden needs to be. Biden needs to be toxic in order to win. If Biden could just be toxic, he would have a chance. As it is now, Biden doesn't really have a chance. Because he's still being a... He's still trying to... Because his game is you got to be corporate and uh, clean. And, you know, if Trump has anything going for him, it's his... Uh, it It's not his anti-corporate behavior because his behavior is pro-corporate, but it's his anti-establishment rhetoric that people like. All people need to hear is the word socialism, and they, they say, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'll take my Trump.
Please and thank you. Gimme that T. R U M P. He's the president for me. He hates those socialist communist left tards like AOC. Except they're never that uh, classy, are they? They're just kind of like a... Uh... Hey, he just tells him something and goes on, don't he? He'll tell him anything. He just goes on. Give me that T. R U M P. Biden called the military stupid bastards. I didn't know that. Was he just trying to keep up with Donald Trump? Who called him a bunch of losers or something? Or, or saps? What do you call them? Did you say they were saps? Uh, we gotta go to Fleeteries today. I think it's morning. Oh, it's 3 p.m.? <laughs> I can never tell what time it is. And what time does he close? Four? Oh, we're not gonna make it. Is it three? Yeah. 3.15, wow. Worked all day on this motherfucker. Maybe we slept all day. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, we're going to play another sound bite. Understanding <coughs> what you may hear about me, I have incredibly good judgment. One, I married Jill. And two, I appointed Johnson to the Academy. I just want you to know that. Just clap for that, you stupid uh. bastard. <laughs> I remember when he did that. And then everybody clapped. Because that's that was actually pretty funny. That was one of the moments that made me uh, like Joe. Yeah, that was funny. He needs more moments like that. Like where he just fucking lays into people. So we painted the engine block. Look at that dirty old gearbox. And I wanted to take this apart, but I don't... Maybe I don't need to. Because I, I put work into this. I mean, if I don't have to take it apart, I shouldn't. Tuning all those fucking valves? Alright. We'll have to... Do something to pass the time here. It's 4 p.m. Right, we're going to need a battery. Oh, it's Thursday. So I think that means tomorrow, T Timo gets new stuff. Here's Piston 4. This is bad. Right? That's a shitty one. And, um... What else needs love here? I can't really tell what's completely fucked. The main bearings, those look okay. I, I can't tell, you know. This thing, whatever that is that goes with the uh, the valves there, the rocker, is that what that's called? I do not, uh, you know, I don't get all giddy and gleeful when shit goes wrong with politics. Like, 
people like to be the ones to like announce how bad something just got, you know? And uh, like there's a certain excitement in it that they get. And I never really see the fun in it. Like I get it, you, it's fun to be right. But I don't like get excited because shit is fucked. My grandma cusses at the TV. That's funny. So am I just replacing that piston? Okay, if I if I can afford it, I'll, I'll replace that clutch cover plate too. And uh, if I don't find that fucking if I can't find that diesel canister before long, I'm just gonna have to. Like, edit the save file and bring it back over because I, I really need it. Now, why does she cuss the news? Because she doesn't like what's going on in the world? Tell her, fuck you, Granny. This is the way it is now. Fuck you, stupid Granny. This is politics now. I'm just going to take a quick look around for that diesel canister out here. Yeah, I don't understand how what women could approve of this president unless they themselves like have some kind of weird self-hating thing going on where they they want women to suffer like just because they're unhappy because because donald just seems to be a rapist or something like he raped those kids with epstein right <laughs> but didn't he do that did he rape kids with epstein or no i i was pretty sure he did right like how was that not he raped. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god. We found the diesel canister. Oh, yes. That is awesome. I better get the helmet. Oh yeah, some women just hate other women like so much that they'll like Ghislaine Maxwell. She probably doesn't much care for women. She she's got basically like a dude's Machiavellian fucking sense of uh, just insane justice. Okay, there you go, baby. Got the helmet. We're going to town. Got got our sausages here. And away we go. Yeah, my grandma doesn't like Donald Trump either. But a lot of women do. And if you look at those women in the videos that, who are like yelling, yeah, John! Yeah, Donald Trump! Like those women look unhappy. They look unsatisfied, if I may be so bold. They look like, uh, you know, they look like miserable hags. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to come out and say it. Yeah, I, you can't go after him for Epstein because, like, everybody was under Epstein. So, like, if they're all corrupt in the same way, then you can't be like, yeah, but sh yeah, Trump raped kids. Like, oh, did he? Well, you know, so did Wild Bill Clinton. Is that the thing? Like, you can't win because that's their lame shit little argument? I don't think that... 
That doesn't exactly track. There must be some other reason that they're not really hitting on that Epstein shit. Is it because it's like too conspiratorial? Is that the problem? Do they think that they're above conspiracy theories when Trump uses every single fucking one? What's that expression? It's easier to uh, fool someone than it is to convince them that they've been fooled. All right, it's too late to go to Fleeteries. So what are we doing? Where the fuck are we even going? What, am I, what do I have? I got the gas. Right, maybe I could go to Timo's? So I'm pretty sure I can't make it to Fleeteries. Oh, we, we have half a tank of gas. My grandma doesn't like Trump. She thinks he's an animal. She's not into the child rape. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I don't know where I'm going. All right, well, we're just gonna see where this leads, yeah? I should have gone this way. But maybe it'll lead out onto the highway and I can just... I've never been here before. Oh no, I hit something. I hit the cousin. I was just gonna drive over here and see what's over here. What is this place? I've taken the van out on the track out here. Oh, it's a wrecked car. Can I... What can I do? Well, if I have my tool... Oh, I do have a tool, but not really my tools. It doesn't seem to have an engine. Can I tow it? Almost. Yeah, I think I can drag this thing in, right?
<laughs> oh man. What the fuck? Okay. Maybe Fleetery wants this. Will he give me money? I'm just your neighbor looking to borrow a broom here today. Double time to the office. Quit lollygagging and we'll get this resolved today. I'd like it done before the weekend. I'm spending change out of my what own pocket name? with UPS. And uh, we've been trying to deliver there for three attempts now. And, and no one's been there to sign for the parcel. I'm not sure what you're talking about. This yeah, is a company that's open from 8 to 5 every day. I hear that every day. I, I don't know. Where are you trying to deliver? Well, our driver's been there, and he says that you and he have had a scuffle of some kind. A scuffle? He's Bangladeshi, <laughs> ma'am. Hello? I'm not even in the offices. I'm in the Chicago area. Well, that's And the if problem. he's trying to deliver to Gaggle, all he has to do is go in the front door or call them and let them know that there's a parcel we have UPS delivered to our location every day. Oh, well, if you're not even there, I think that's part of the problem. So step one would be for you to actually be present and accountable. I okay? don't. Hang on just a minute. I'm at a pay phone, ma'am. I'm a truck driver. You understand? Uh, okay. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay. okay. But. Yeah. 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 I, I, no, I don't understand what you said. What, who are you trying to deliver what, 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 from? <laughs> is it yes or no? Are you going to be in the office or not? That's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of here. <laughs> Our driver is Bangladeshi. If you need an interpreter, I just need to put in a... All right. Uh... <laughs> What's going on out there? Am I not getting it? Oh, I'm towing it. It takes a little bit of convincing, you know? I'll get this some bitch out. What was I supposed to do? Use the tractor, maybe? I bet I was. I bet I was supposed to use the tractor, because I can't push this. Yeah, it's got no fucking wheels. I can't pull it. Oh, no. Uh. I, I need the tractor. But at least now I know where that is. No, I, it's not giving up. There's, I, I can't tow it with this thing. I have to go pick it up in a tractor. And maybe load it onto the bed of the tractor somehow. Now I'm not even sure how to get back on the main road.
I gotta get to Fleetery and and take a take a rest on that on his couch on his new couch. Oh, is that the same wrecked cars before? What the fuck? All right, we'll get out of here somehow. You really want to talk about your grandma, Yeats? Why? Why is she so upset with you? Is it because you woke her up? Did you Did you fart real loud in your sleep, and that you know woke her up next to you? Is she scared of your gun? Did you show her a gun? Why Why should she be scared of you, Champ? Where's the fucking road out of here? Oh, there it is. I'm getting really good at downshifting and stuff. Alright, let me look at the map. So I think I need to, I, I came from, that was on the right, I believe? I can't remember. Was that a left turn? Fuck. I don't know. So you had your grandma's phone, you fell asleep with it, she came in, why did you scream? Why were you screaming? Do you have Tourette's? Do you get night terrors? Is your grandma hot? Oh god, we're gonna wreck the van. She's 72. You don't know if she's hot. She might be. She might be hot for a 72 year old lady. I wouldn't know. Oh, look at this farm. What the fuck is this? I'm looking at one of the worst maps I've ever seen in my life. All right. And then this one is unlabeled. Where's, show me a normal map for this game. There it is. So that's a strawberry field, I guess. Oh, she just turned 73? Yeah, she's probably hot, man. So she, anyway, she came in there. She got her phone so that she can text her old guy boyfriend. And then you're, go you're there going, Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! And, and you're, you're scaring her. Sorry for blowing out the mic. That's poor broadcast etiquette. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's Lop in that direction? Uh, well. 
What's this, the highway? Oh! Your grandma was, uh, was... Shouldn't have been sneaking around, you know? That's kind of on her for creeping around in the house. I think I'm starting to figure out the roads here. So if I continue around this way, this should take me so that the lake is on my right, and then... Oh, there's a police checkpoint on this road. I'll, I'll tell you what, man. Have a gun. And the next time your grandma thinks she's going to sneak up on you, you, you show her just how alert you are. That's a bus. Oh, is that the police? I think that is the police up ahead. Did we anticipate their checkpoint? Oh no, it's just a blue sign. Is this town? Yeah. She is she a white grandma? Sounds like he's got the pub open over here. Yeah. Hello, Tamo. Hello, Tamo. I don't need this crap. Oh, what's this? That's oh, one of my flyers. I, I never did his advertising scheme. Okay, so I'm at Timo's. I need to go to Lop. And I should just, I should be able to... I'll just go right out of here. That there's traffic coming. They were not social distancing in there.
I just took another edible? So I can push on through the, the night? We're beating traffic, that's for sure. We need to slow down because the speed wobbles. We're throwing the van all around. Hey Yeet, how old is your brother? How old are you? Yeet, yeet. Do you like to yeet stuff across the room? Are you the 1200 yeet? Is that your twin brother? What did you what did you do to celebrate the birthday? Did grandma have cake? Did your white grandma give you cake? Uh, Beast World has the ethnic grannies. And they would withhold cake and other good things. Oh, he lives in Florida. Ah, to be a 27-year-old man in Florida. Oh, wait. I feel like that was my turn. This is a great van. There's my piston in the floor. What, uh, let's see what town is this. I feel like this is a lot. It is. Yeah, we made it. Cool. Very cool. Drove all that way with no seatbelt. Yeah, there we go. Sucking them down both barrels. Pissing in public. That is awesome. That melts the stress away. A whole cigarette in a single breath. He's closed, yeah. Okay, fine. Check this out. We'll go to sleep in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. yeah, we broke in and went to sleep. <laughs> now he's got this floor jack. What's over here? Nothing. Oh, it's still morning. Or it's not quite morning yet. Are we stuck in here? Oh my god. What have I done? Oh my god. Oh, 
no. Oh no. I lost the sofa. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Now, now I really have to wait for morning. Oh yeah, this is this is rough, all right. Um, can I play it with his tools? Oh, beautiful! He's got everything. A ruler. Oh, we're a little hungover. Okay, let's close that. What else does he have? Does he have a way out? <laughs> Does, he... Does he have another exit? Okay, well, it's got to be almost morning, right? Is he going to get pissed if he comes in here and finds me here? Oh, I wish I could just take one of these chairs and throw it through the wall. By dino time. Let me go. I thought I was being clever. Oh. Why is he going so slow? Is he watching me? Oh, that's a cool truck right there. Yeah, Florida's pretty crazy. I see the the interesting thing about the coronavirus is like once people catch it, that's it. Like, they've got the antibodies, so they can just go around. And they're fine. Like, they can be a little bit more cavalier about it. Just waiting. That guy, he knows I'm trapped in here. He doesn't give a fuck. This is a tough game, man. This is it's a hard game. Company, our driver. I have no idea what you're trying to deliver. There's never, ever been an issue of trying to deliver something to our offices from UPS. Are you from United Postal Service? I'm with United Parcel Service, ma'am. Okay, United Parcel Service. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Don't, 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 don't. No, please, hello. I don't know what's wrong with this phone, but every time I try to say something, there's an issue. Um, if you're not in the office... Free? You need to be present and accountable. It'd be step one for you to actually be present for your parcel. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm in Chicago. They're in Bloomington. First of all, I don't have any idea what you're trying to deliver. And second of all, I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I've never talked to anybody call me and talk to me so ignorantly as you are. Uh, you're, you're the, the one, one uh, not in the office, and you think we're United Postal Service. So who's ignorant, you or me? And just because our driver's Bangladeshi does not deserve your I disrespect. Have, that has nothing to do with it. I don't. I. I don't understand what you're Let saying. Let me out. I hate I all that. Company. Me out. And so you're with United Parcel Service. Yes, I am, ma'am. For 14 months I worked here. Okay, that's great. And yeah. so tell sure. me where. I'm a teamster. 
Where is the parcel coming from? Who, who's sending it to us? I'm trying to reach Susan at Gaggle. And if you're not even in the office, that'd be job one is to hightail it up. You follow? Because I hear this every day. Oh, I'm not there. I'm here. I'm somewhere else. I'm 130 miles away from there. Now, I can't hightail it up there. Big we mistake. have remote workers all over oh, the place. Big problem. Major problem. This is signature required, ma'am. Then anybody in my office can sign for something. No. No, 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 Listen, show a little respect. Our driver is Bangladeshi, okay? Uh, you know, you keep saying that. I have no idea what you're saying. And what? did you walk into my offices? Ma'am, this will be our fourth attempt. Do you appreciate what that means? I do, but this is the first time I'm ever hearing about it. It's a major problem. Big problem. We need your signature at COD $97.20. Whatever the problem is, you're just going to have to send it back. You're just going to have to double time it. Double time to the office. Quit lollygagging and we'll get this resolved today. I'd like it done before the weekend. I'm spending change out of my own pocket. What is your name? What is your name? Gerber. And you work for United Parcel Service? Oh, we're back on that again, huh? Yeah, okay. I sure do. Coming up on 14 months. I just had my year you know, anniversary. I, I, you know, I don't understand why you're getting so nasty with me. Nah. I'm trying to tell you I am 130 miles away from that office, and I don't recall ordering anything that has $97 due on it, Man. and nor would I have ordered anything that would be payment upon receipt. I have no idea what it is you're trying to deliver. Oh, I hear that all the time. Oh, I don't know about this. This is Susan. May I help you? Yes, this is Heath. Uh, I'm an accountant with United Parcel Service. I'm looking at a past due here. Wanted to know if we can resolve this here today by phone with a credit card or routing number. You know, I think you called me last week on this, and I ended up hanging up because the information that you give me is not valid, first of all. We don't order anything COD, and you cannot tell me who the shipper is and where it's coming from. And we deal with UPS on a daily basis, and they come into our office. We have an account with them. So we would never be getting anything COD. So I don't know what your thing is, but... Okay, let me know when I can speak. And you see, a- that's the other thing. The person that talked to me last week was rude, and you're being rude, too. And UPS would never talk to me like this. You have a flag on your account. That's why I'm calling. You have a problematic account. And to receive your parcel, we do need payment. So we have a flag on our account and we're problematic? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh. Well, who is that account's name in? If you want to give us a routing number, uh, you know, we can satisfy who's, the debt. Uh, who, whose account is it? Is this, how can, uh, who, is this a COD that you're talking about? How much is owed on it? $412.88. $412.88. Wow. And where is it coming from? You don't wish to satisfy the debt, uh, is what I'm hearing. I want to know who the sender is. And you have a problem with our driver based on his ethnicity, is apparently what I'm You know, you guys said that last time, and here's the problem. Yeah, what's that? Here's the problem is that, you know, I'm not even in the office. I told you that last time, so I wouldn't even know his ethnicity. So, you know what? I'm I'm going to tell you that whatever you've got, you just need to send it back to whoever you got it from. That's fine. Because, we still need the 41288. You know, you're being rude, and that would not be something that we would do. Hello? Yeah, this is Stewie with UPS. Uh, we're trying to deliver a parcel up there uh, three separate occasions, sir. No one's been available to sign for the parcel. Our driver is Bangladeshi. We understand there's been some sort of an issue with our driver. You sound like a real confused individual, don't you? Well, if you're in need of an interpreter, we're able to assign one on his route. We just need a heads up, okay? Okay, well. I'm a teamster. Well, you can appreciate my uh, can-do approach to parcel delivery, can't you? I got someone's number. I'm going to be annoying as shit. He's open. We're free. <laughs> well, let's go in the front door. Hey, man. It's about fucking... Oh. What's on my mind? You locked me in here, you son of a cunt. Okay, oh, look at all this stuff. Piston 4. 
We need it. Uh, wow, this shit gets expensive. The starter's fine. Water pump was cool. I don't actually see the camshaft. Oh, oh, you can get a new block? Well, that is shiny. That's shiny. A uh, new gearbox? Well, that looks just as nasty as the one I have. All right. Well, that's it, huh? That's not bad. Okay. Cool. Let's take my piston. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thanks, champ. Thanks for fucking nothing. Now we can go back. Oh, we gotta go back by uh, Timo's now. And from him, we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy uh, oil. Because I drained all the oil. And. I don't know what other fluids I need. I'm not sure where you're coming from. I'm not sure Hello? Yeah, sir, this is Susan at United Park Service. What seems Susan. to be the trouble up there, sir? Oh, listen, hey, earlier there was a misunderstanding, and I didn't know. Listen, this lady came to my door, and I couldn't tell if she was soliciting, and we have a sign that says no solicitors. Yeah. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but she was not wearing the uniform. I just want you to know, she wasn't wearing the uniform or 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 or, or, or carrying a package, and she got she got wow. blackface. Is that so? I got nothing against the Hindus or the Bladeshis or the Sings. I got nothing. Well, that's good to know, so I'll make a note on your account, okay? <laughs> God, please don't make a note. Please don't make a note, sir. Well, there is a flag sir, on I... your account. I have the power to remove the flag, okay? Can, can, he, can he take the flag off? You said yes. you make a note. Now you're saying there's a flag? Is it a Bangladeshi flag? Because I won't stand for it! As I said, I'm Susan with United Parcel Service. Uh, six years on the job, and I'm a regional Hi. executive. Well, I'm glad that you told us that our representative wasn't in uniform. I'm going to make a note. Believe me, I'm making a note right now. Your, 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 your name is Susan? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so Hi, Yoko. I want to hear your concerns uh, about your uh, delivery service. Go ahead, sir. No, I don't have a concern. You you called me with a concern. I told you exactly what went down. Was this woman was uh, she was? Um, oh, I drove the wrong direction. Not, uh, I don't know how to put this. She's not well. Doesn't seem native, if you know what I mean. Okay, I start there. I understand. Okay, I understand. And she starts jabbering on in whatever yeah. her native tongue is, and sure. I, you know, I, I okay, all right, I ordered her off my property, yeah. okay? Okay. Uh, just between me and you. Now, don't tell anybody else this. Okay, okay. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got pretty rough with her. Okay, 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 okay. All right? Okay. We had a long driveway, and I, I'll just put it this way. I played kick the can for a little while, all right, honey? Okay, okay. I can't do much about the COD. That's between you and the merchant. But I can send somebody back out there. If you want an interpreter, I'll send one along. Hey, I'm with the uh, uh, first person move, okay? Which one? First person. Mm -hmm. We call ourselves the originals, okay? You get me? I'm a teamster. I'm 100% with you. Our values parallel those of your own. Well, Susie, I thought you were uh, in management. Hey, I'm, Sue. Sue. I'm part of the same Sue, marketing Sue, unit Sue. as the drivers. Okay, you don't don't interrupt the customer when they're talking. Okay, Sue. You know, kick your keys to down my driveway. Yeah. Why don't you bring that package? Why don't you deliver it personally, honey? I'm an administrator. Reader, reader, reader. <laughs> I'll bet you get a big old can on you, Sue. I brought my lunch. <laughs> well, Sue. 
about lunchtime. I'm know, feeling kind of angry. Well, hopefully we can resolve this here today uh, here at UPS. <laughs> you bring that big keister down my long driveway, Suzanne. And we'll see if we can't work something out. <laughs> Richard, I'm out here. United Parcel Service. I'm an administrator. Okay. Our driver's been out there two times. We want assurances that you'll be there today for his third attempt. Okay, uh, driver been here two times. How do I know he was there? Because I'm telling you. Okay, that's good. Usually people leave a note, like the postal service. They're coming back. What time? The tracking number. Okay. Do you have the check prepared? Check for what? I don't order anything. Uh, $2,100. No, I guess you got the wrong address because you don't order anything for $2,100. The item is a trapezoid. It's coming to unit one. Do you understand? What, 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 what product is it? What is it? It's a yeah, trapezoid. Yeah, that was a creepy one. What? What do you mean, what? It's a trapezoid. So I need you to get ready and get the funds drawn. Richard, let me help you. This is Swift with UPS. We have a parcel that no one has signed for? We, we sell only shoes. I don't know what kind of parcel you have, but, but, but I don't know anything. So you guys maybe want to scam somebody or try some kind of bullshit, but I don't know what you guys are doing. So you guys calling the wrong number. You have a flag on your account. Flag right. on the account? Perfect. I'm glad I have a flag on my account. No, that's a bad thing. It's not a good thing. Right. No, don't worry about it. The package is from Bathroom Fantasies. Bathroom right. Fantasies? Oh, I don't know. You, you got the wrong address. It's not us. No nope, bullshit. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm uh, from UPS. What appears to be the problem up there? I don't know what's your problem, man. We don't really order this kind of product. What are you trying to do? Can you explain uh, you, to me? You've got a flag on your account. You Whatever. Now, like, forget about it. What exactly you're talking about? What products you're talking You're trying to ship it to me. Plus, like, usually UPS come and they ship it normally. They don't call in advance. We've been out there twice. Nobody answered the door. And it's All right, we're here right now. You can oh. come over. I didn't order this product you're talking about. We're here right now. You're welcome we to come over. We need the funds prepared before we come out there. To pay for your item. I don't know what item you're talking about. And we've been here for a long time, and we never get that kind of UPS. So you come over. UPS never confirmed COD product. What so are I've you talking worked, about, man? Please so stop calling. You have it, some products, come over and drop it off. Here, stop calling. Did pay you hear me? Item. No, I need you to pay for your package. What the fuck you're oh. talking about? Stop fucking hey. calling over here. You fucking hey. stupid. How can I help you? This is Swift with United Parcel Service. I'm an administrator here. I don't believe you are. 18 months I've worked here, sir. We've attempted to deliver a parcel twice. This is our third attempt at COD today. So have the guy bring it by my office. I'll pay for it. Just have your UPS driver come between now and 4 o'clock. Oh, we came so close to that guy. You. I'm afraid you've got a flag on your account with UPS. You've got a problematic account. So we'd like a okay, credit card I'm, number. I'm not giving you a credit card number over the phone. I don't know who the hell you are. I'm Swift with UPS. I'm an account executive. I don't know what Swift is. That's my name. I mean, just fucking relax, dude. I mean, you're, you're calling me from a mobile phone. I'm not going to pick up and give you a credit card number over the phone. I'll call UPS. You've already got me on the line. Who works for UPS? I don't know you that you're me. fucking UPS. Fuck off. Hello, how can I help you? This is Swift with UPS calling. Our driver's been out there two times trying to deliver your parcel. No one answered. And I want to make sure someone's going to be there before we come back out. Uh, who am I speaking with again? Gosh, it's so nice to be back at Tamo's again. Already putting gas in this motherfucking van. Oh, and we got the diesel canister now? Yeah, we got, we got diesel. We got everything. I assume Timo's open. Oh. Uh, Diesel! What time do you stream? Usually around 11 p.m. or midnight. This one's been going for four hours, so 11 p.m. Uh, you know, we've been going.
going long enough. What's his face was able to um go do chores? He had to go run errands and came back. And we we're still going. Like a good neighbor, hate sec is there. See, and he's like a he's a guy that lives like a normal, healthy life. He uh he goes running. He uh, plays video games. He can suck himself off, I understand. He wraps his ankles around his neck and brings it in. Hey, take it easy there, Beast World. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want you to grow a belly. You get out there and jog and stay healthy. And you, you go be sweet. And we'll, we'll be here when you get back. Love you, buddy. Okay, we got our diesel. Got the van full, got the diesel canister full. Whoops. Um, we gotta pay for the gas. Timo gets mad. If you don't pay. Oh, and he's got sugar for me so I can make more booze. And he's got more juice bottles. I could use a couple more, you know? Okay. Another beer. Uh, a bunch of motor oil. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I need brake fluid. Oh my god, that's almost all my money, Timo. Okay. Is that what I came here for? Yeah, I need a motor oil. Did I buy enough? I thought I bought five of these. How many do you need? <laughs> I fucking love this game. He's talking to me on Discord. Get some more beer. Why do you think you're being mind freaked, Yeet? Cause it's do you go yeet 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 motherfucker? Yeet 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 in your seat. Okay, that's all my stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's my other motor oil. Timo, were you gonna keep that? He's trying to hide it so he could sell it again? No, sir. No, sir. You're a bad boy, Mr. Timo. You're a bad boy. Uh, yeet. Are you, are you schizophrenic? Why? How do you see things that are not there? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, is that my good piston? I believe it is. Now we can finally return home. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm totally confused oh. with what you're saying to me. I have no idea what you're talking about. What is it in reference to? Okay, backing up, sir. Our driver's been out there twice. No one was available to sign for your partial. Okay. Where? He's been where twice? To your establishment. I want to make sure you're going to be there and you're going to have a check prepared for our driver if he does correct that a third Yeet. time. Do you live in America? This, 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 whoever I'm speaking with or two, whatever, yeah. I cannot understand because it's going from one voice to another. I'm an administrator. Our driver's the one you'll be meeting with. So just get that straight. Okay, again, can I go back, please, sir? Please, 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 please. I am an employee here. I am an employee, yeah. not the owner, whoever, the sign, or whatever. I don't know, I have no idea what you're talking about. $487.33 is due on the parcel. You want you want Thomas Anton? I need to talk to you today, sir, to get this work done. Oh, again, you are talking to me, but I think you're the wrong person. Well, why don't you give me a routing number and we'll take care of the... I don't have a routing number. <laughs> I can't get enough of that shit. So, Yeet, uh, how long have you been awake? You say you see these hallucinations when you stay up too late? How late is too late? You've been up since 11 a.m. Okay, well, even if you're on the East Coast, it's only 3. So, it's not that late. What kind of, thi what kind of things do you see? Are you a sweetheart or no? You see people? So you're hallucinating people? Do I have that right? Oh, you see something white. Oh, do you see a white flash of light, like a flash of white light? When you stay awake, some people see that. Look at that light, that was weird. Fuck you. Yeah, that's pretty normal to see flashes of white light. Sometimes you'll see things out of your vi out of the corner of your vision, like moving. I I will sometimes see things moving. I'm not sure if this was my turn. This is probably not right. Now this is lot, I believe. Yeah. We're back in lot. A little too early. I'll get back out on the highway and take my next right. Oh, the van is burning black smoke. Is that normal? Did I fuck up the van? When I was a little kid, when I was like seven years old, I would sometimes see things moving out of the corner of my eye. And I would think like, okay, so the devil's real. <laughs> I didn't know. 
Oh, so demons and the devil and shit hiding under my bed. That's actually real stuff, but then I put two and two together and I realized, oh, that the story of things moving under your bed probably comes from people being tired in their bedroom and then seeing weird shit moving out of the corner of, my, of their eyes. Because, like, I saw something, like, my blankets move, you know. They're not really moving, you're just tired. And my tendency, I don't know if you do this, but my tendency is to fight sleep. Like, I'll, I'll fight sleep for as long as possible. And then, uh, shit starts to get really crazy, you know. I believe this is my turn, yeah? I'd never read that sign. I should read the sign and learn what it says. Maybe this is, it's this sign. So we made it home with our parts and motor oil, and enough money to pay the bills. Why is your friend creepy? You say you have a creepy friend? Well, so your friend had a dream where he assassinated you and then turned you into a robot. Well, it's not that creepy. It's just a dream. Does your friend give you some kind of vibes like he wants to kill you or wear your skin? Well, we forgot to get mosquito repellent while we were there. But that's okay, because we got fucking everything else. Yeah. That is one... New fucking piston. Piston number four. Piston two is also brand new now. There's piston two. Okay. Piston three. Where's one? There it is. Whoops. One isn't looking so hot. But whatever. So when we come back, we'll be putting all this back together again. 
Oh, I see now why I couldn't buy this, because I don't have it detached. But I, I still, I should have been able to get the camshaft, right? If it was really broken? Maybe that end has got to come off? I don't fucking know. Anyway, whoops. He always talks in a weird voice. That's funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, champ. You got a weird friend. There's our groceries. And more groceries. What kind of a voice? I shouldn't just dismiss that. That's... It's big... Big talk. What kind of a creepy voice is this guy using? Oh, let's see, there's our diesel. We can fill up the tractor. That's a big deal. Anything else in here I need? Nah, I don't, I don't see anything else. Okay. Is it a fake voice? Like, it, does he not know how to be around people without being weird and use a fake deep voice? I had teachers that would use a fake deep voice. Okay. Got all that taken care of. Oh shit, my laptop's dying. Anyway, uh, until next time. Yeet, thanks for hanging out. Toxie, as always. Beast World. Um, whoever else is here. Itilara. Thicker. All the, all the stars were out. Until next time, we'll come back and fix the motor. I gotta chill. F follow me. Um, subscribe to my voicemail. Be perfect angels. Yeah, tomorrow at 11. Or, pro or maybe when I wake up in the morning. I don't fucking know. All right, peace out. Uh, don't turn your back on that friend. Or any friend. <laughs>